All right, coming up next, we have Arrested Development. That sorry, <laughs> Arrested Development creator Mitch Hurwitz has confirmed that he is currently writing the script for a full-length feature Arrested Development movie and hopes to make another season as well. I'm working on the movie right now, he said. I can't get into much more detail because I don't want to scare anybody off, and I don't want to be presumptuous about it. I don't own the property outright; it's a 20th Century Fox property, but everybody seems really into it and really eager to make a movie. So John Byers said. That we're going to get maybe an Arrested Development movie. Sell, sell, sell. This is <laughs> such great graphic fantasy. I remember back in 2011, there was this big, huge Q and A session with Ron Howard and all the producers and the writers and the actors from Arrested Development, and they did this big, huge thing. And they said, that, "Yep, we are developing a script for a movie. We hope to be in shooting by it in 2012 for a for maybe a late 2013 release. All the actors on board, blah blah blah." And I came out and I said, because all the movie news sites ran with this headline, confirmed. Uh, an Arrested Development movie is coming because they confirmed it. And I remember I came out and said, like, no, we didn't. No studio has come out and said they're going to pay for this thing. Let's not forget, Arrested Development went off the air for a reason. I love the show. But much like the fact that I love Firefly, like Firefly, nobody watched it. And it got canceled because nobody watched it. Now, everybody has this fantasy that, oh, but now everybody loves it because it became so popular on DVD and so popular on Netflix. We inflate what that really means. So everybody thought when they do the Arrested Development uh, next season on Netflix, which they did, and I was excited to see it, they thought it's going to break the internet. So many people are going to watch it. Guess what? A lot more people watched House of Cards which was the other Netflix original series. Um, so anyway, I came out and said, look, this is not official. The series went off air. The last time a series went off air that got this giant following after it went off air, Firefly, which made the Serenity movie. Guess what? They made Serenity, made like $25 million. Nobody went to go see it. And, and I think the studios remember this stuff. They remember these, these trends and how this really works. So I'm going to say this. We heard this song and dance before back in 2011, and obviously it never came to pass. Just like I said, it would never come to pass. Now here we are in 2013, and the guy's saying again, okay, I'm working on a script, and I'm sure there are five movie websites right now that are writing the headlines, confirmed Arrested Development movie coming, even though he just said he's writing a script. I don't think it'll ever happen. Um, it's possible, but the biggest hurdle for me is that some studio, let's not forget this. Remember, we're not talking about whether Arrested Development deserves a movie. That's a different question altogether. I think all of us on this panel would like to see an Arrested Development movie. But the number one hurdle continues to be this. They need a studio that says, all right, we will write the 30 million, and I'm being optimistic here, 30 million dollars, keep it low. We will write the $30 million check to produce this movie, and we will write the $25 million to $35 million check to market this movie and distribute the movie and cross our fingers that an Arrested Development movie then would probably require somewhere around $130 million box office to break even. Then that's not going to happen. An Arrested mm -hmm. Development movie will not make $100 plus million at the box office. It's just not. So... I, but maybe one of these students, maybe Fox, will will go, hey, we just want to do it as a pet project. We know we're going to take a loss on it. We know it's not going to make money. Uh, and maybe they'll do it. And I will love them for it if they do it. But it, that's the type of situation it's going to take for an Arrested Development movie to happen. A studio that just goes, you know what? We're willing to take a loss on this and we'll finance it. Amy Rose, I know you love Arrested Development. What do you think about all this? Bye. Thank goodness I'm here for a piece of reason. I mean, come on. If I recall, Mr. Campia, I think you didn't believe that there were going to be new episodes either. And look what happened there. No, no, I, I said no, no. I said they could do no. I said they could do another TV series. Absolutely. I said that's where they mm -hmm. can go. They can do another TV season. I said mm -hmm. never see a movie. Anyway, I'll send you the Netflix, link to the video where I said that directly. Ne Netflix has changed the game, they really have. I mean, House of Cards, Orange is the New Black, Arrested Development, and I think it, you know, a lot of people weren't ready for this witty, amazing show when it happened. I felt that way about a lot of shows. And sales did skyrocket more than, you know, they were before. Maybe not as 
as the hopes would have been. But I definitely think that we could. I mean, same with Entourage. Like, a lot of people are like, that's not happening. But there are steady yeah. movements. And now that the whole cast is on board, which has been the biggest difficulty in locking, I think Michael Sarah was the big diva in this whole negotiation process, if the rumors were true. We don't know. But, um... I really want to see this. I think it's such a wonderful. And while, you know, I did like this new season, it was not up to maybe the previous seasons, but I do still think they captured the nostalgia, gave us our favorite characters, and I think they could do this pretty much on the cheap. I mean, the biggest expense would be to pay the actors because think about it. There's not, like, special effects. It's very grounded in reality. I don't really think they need a ton of money to make this movie happen other than the salary. So I'm really optimistic. I want you to be optimistic, too. I really want to see this movie, and uh, I like that all the original, you know, creators and everything are on board, and I'm excited for season two. So come on, John. The problem with TV is this. You can have a show on CW, for example, right, that gets three million viewers a week, and for CW, that's a big hit. Three million viewers a week on a CW show mm -hmm. is a big hit. Here's the problem. This all comes back down to the finances. If every single one of those three million viewers, let's say they did a Supernatural movie, right? If every single one, without exception, all of them, ran out and bought a movie ticket, which they won't, but for argument's sake, let's say they will, that's $30 million box office. Now you're in a position where you have to triple that with people who never were even interested in watching the show in the first place. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a just, it's a tough road to navigate. It's really, really tough. Once again, we're there talking, we're not talking about does it deserve a movie. Mm -hmm. We're talking about does it financially, really, and practically make sense. They're making make another movie. Twilight Zone movie, and Leonardo DiCaprio is producing it. So I mean, it can happen. That's a really different situation. Yeah. You're talking about a 50-year-old hey, TV, TV series, series that has a lot of nostalgia a factor now. A long time now. after the shelf life. Totally so different not... scenario. Most people who are watching this episode right now are completely siding with Amy Rose. <laughs> let's, let's make no no mis, misrepresentations I keep about John it. John in line sometimes. He yeah. needs it. <laughs>